Everybody wants a covered outdoor living space. It is trending. All of the modern home builders are building them into the house because everybody wants them. Covered outdoor living is coming to you right now. We're gonna have a whole series on all the different types of covered outdoor living spaces you can get. So I'm gonna start with my very favorite for this first video, and it is a freestanding structure. Now, freestanding structures act as a destination in your landscape. If you've watched my channel before, you're gonna hear this all the time, but I don't wanna stop saying it because you need to have it imprinted on your mind. Create destination, create purpose in your backyard. So let's start with the first freestanding structure. It's gonna be a traditional gable style structure. So we can do these in our local market. We often do these at a 12 and a half by 16. So 12 and a half feet by 16 and a half feet from post to post. And then with the gable coming down, we have a, at least a foot and a half overhang over those posts. So it really does turn that traditional 200 square foot structure larger because of those overhangs of covered outdoor living. Why would I start with the gable style? The reason to start with the gable style is a lot of homes have a gable built into it. So I just really want you to think about this is whatever you're doing in the landscape, so is your, your, your structure, please match that with your home. If you deviate from that, it's gonna look out of place and it, it's gonna, not gonna have a lot of thought put into it. So if you have a home that has a peak or a gable or an A-frame, those are the different words that you can say to that, then of course you'd wanna match that in your outdoor living space. And you would wanna do something similar with the architecture. Now, if you look up at your house and you realize that it does not have that, that A-frame, it might have what's called the hip style. So it just goes into your roof, then you would not wanna do a covered structure with a gable. So that's the other style is, is a hip ridge style structure. So basically you have your posts and then there's no open A-frame it goes right into the hip ridge. Now a hip ridge is nice because it offers a little bit more coziness when you're inside the structure. So if you have some heaters in there and if you have your fireplace, that's a very kind of cozy spot because all the heat is trapped right there, especially in the winter time. So you might really think about that if it matches the architecture of your home, you might wanna go with a freestanding structure with a hip ridge style. So let's talk about some advantages of a freestanding structure over some of the other styles. So a freestanding structure, in my opinion, is what I would call the best because it really gets you out into your landscape. We're gonna talk more about an attached structure, but a lot of people almost intrinsically believe that they just wanna have an attached structure attached to their house, but really it doesn't give them a lot of freedom to come outside and get into their yard. But the freestanding structure does, it gets you out. Usually these could be put out in the landscape. They could sometimes even hide kind of a, the sight line from a neighbor. They could be used as a privacy feature themselves. But really a freestanding structure is a destination, like I always say, and between the destination from your door to your structure, then you could do lots of other outdoor living. Now, a lot of people also have a bump out of their house. So imagine like an octagon style a bump out and usually this is in like a dining room of the house. So if you have a house that has this and I'll show you right now some examples of what that looks like, then it might be a strong possibility to match that architectural element of your home in the landscape. So here's what that looks like. Uh, it's a beautiful structure, beautiful freestanding structure. And you could add a lot of style to it. So you can add the, the fireplace, you can add the bar, and it really gives you a, lots of multiple area destination in one beautiful freestanding structure. So another freestanding structure is the lean-to style structure. Now, a lean-to style structure is more of a modern look and it usually deviates from the home style itself, but you can add a lot of really nice elements in a modern landscape. As long as it's more of a modern, 
architectural element of the landscape that you're doing, then you could do a freestanding structure. We're gonna have a whole video on lean-to style structures in this series, so I'll talk more about the lean-to style in, those, in that future video. Another cool advantage of a structure that's freestanding is that you can pack it full of a lot of outdoor living items, a fireplace, an outdoor kitchen, a bar, even in a little space. In our local market, we usually do a structure under 200 square feet. That's just because our local code, it makes it so you don't need to get a permit if it's under 200 square feet often. So that's why we do things a little bit smaller, but you can do, you can pack a lot into these spaces. So take a look at some of these freestanding structures. In fact, over here, we even have a double-sided fireplace, but look at what it does to that space. It expands the whole space. So you have a freestanding structure, you have a double-sided fireplace, and all of a sudden that one fireplace creates two different destinations in this room. Another thing that you can do is the outdoor kitchen. Now there's lots of different styles of outdoor kitchens, and you can even do an L-shaped kitchen with a bar, as you're seeing here. And you can even do a kitchen with a grill space built in and a smoker built in. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with your freestanding structure to add multiple purposes to that space. So a lot of people ask me, what are the sizes of these freestanding structures? I just wanna give you the most common size and I'm gonna show you some photos of ones that are these sizes. So you have a 12 by 12, and here's some examples of, of what that looks like. You have a 12 by 14. Here's some examples of what those look like. You have the most common is a 14 by 14. That equals 196 square feet. And it's very common in our local market to do a 14 by 14. Now remember, these all have overhangs of either a foot and a half or two feet. Then you have a rectangular structure, which is usually about 12 by 16, 12 by 16, or it could be 12 and a half by 16, which equals exactly 200 square feet. And then of course you have the larger structures that could really be anything. We've done ones that are 30 by 15. We've done dual room structures that are much larger and they're really whatever you want. Now, another thing you can do with freestanding structures is you can have different ceiling options. So take a look at what we've done here. These are open rafter ceilings. So the only thing about these is they're tricky to hide all the electrical. So obviously electrical needs electrical conduit and it's hard to hide everything, especially if you have heaters, if you have multiple lights. Look at what we've done here. It, you can't hardly see any of the electrical conduit. And so that's one little thing to really think about if you're gonna do an open beam style structure, open rafter style structure, remember, get a good electrician to hide all of that conduit. And then of course you have the traditional tongue and groove where we're covering the rafters there. Usually it gives room for the light, uh, the, for the can lights. And it really is a beautiful feature in itself. Now, another thing with these tongue and groove is a lot of people want cedar. Now, cedar can either be tight knot cedar or clear cedar. Lots of information here that we're covering, but I just wanna give you all that I can on these covered structures to really educate you on which way to go. All right, so that's a lot on freestanding structures. Now I wanna let you know the most popular style structure is the attached covered structure. 
We're gonna have a whole video on a attached covered structure, the different styles of that. Right now, go ahead and click that next video. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.